hello welcome to a day in the life of denise yeah it's my philly girl in the house yeah you know welcome to a day in my life um i breakfast was back and forth what i was going to have today but this is what i felt like and i haven't had it in forever i'm going to have a gluten-free english muffin from trader joe's for five points with peanut butter and jelly i was thinking peanut butter and jelly i don't know it just felt like it so i made a serving of crunchy pb2 for one point and I had gotten these at Sprouts when I was there. If you remember my last Sprouts haul. This is Chia Smash Squeezable Superfood Jam. This packet is one point. It's 45 calories. So I thought it'd be fun to try. I didn't want to buy a bottle because what if I don't like them? I'm funny when it comes to jelly and jams. I can make my own actually. But I uh, figured this is a great way to try. I love when they come in sample packs. More places need to do sample packs because sample packs are where it's at. Got my tea. We got lots to do today. Not really. <laughs> we got so much to do today. We're actually going to go on a little errand. I have, I have to go get money out of the bank. Bailey's getting the room tomorrow, and he only takes cash. So to go to the bank, we have to go to. I was at Shoprite the other day. They didn't have any uh, white distilled vinegar. Seriously, like the big jug, and I have like, a microscopic amount left to clean my CPAP stuff, so I did it. And I know they have it at Save a Lot, which is next to the Dollar Tree. But yeah, we may have to hit the Dollar Tree. I'm not sure what I'm looking for in the Dollar Tree. Probably nothing. I always like their protein stuff and stuff like that. But, all right, making sure my muffin is cool. Because I don't like to put peanut butter on a hot piece of bread. But this one's now it's cool. So we're going to just dollop our peanut butter on. This is the, like I said, the PB2 Crunchy. If you've never tried it, oh, you're missing. You don't pay any extra points for a little, you could see them. Little crunchy bits in there. You can see the crunchy bits. I have it linked in my Amazon store. That's where I get it, right on Amazon. I don't even know if they sell it anywhere else, but oh, look at that. I just felt like peanut butter and jelly. Sometimes you got it, and I'm gonna eat this as my little dessert. Another spoon. Or no, one of these spreaders. I saw my little um, case of home video on my other channel. I got these in a, my subscription box. I love them. Okay, let's just let get this open. They never make it easy. They put these little perforations, but they never work. Imagine psh, jelly all over her face. That would not be, well, it'd be funny, but oh, there. All right. Now, if you watch my channel, I make my own jam a lot and I always put chia seeds in it. I love putting chia seeds in jelly. I think it's fun. I do an April. I do a um, peach one, and I've done a strawberry one. But I've never done a blueberry one. It doesn't look very good, does it? <laughs> All right, let's see. There's still some more in there just to spread this a little bit. You can just put grapes on for a zero points <laughs> instead of spending the point on this, but. We want to get all that out. We put, spent a point on this bad boy. We're going to squeeze it till it's dry. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. I don't know if I like that. Just <laughs> Not a huge fan of the jam. Okay. Kind of tastes a little watery. It's all right. I mean, I don't know if I'd buy a jar or not. Like I said, I can make my own. Just boil some fruit down, add a little sweetener, some chia seeds, a little bit of water. You have yourself a jam. But, okay. I'm going to go eat my breakfast, and we will catch up in the car. Breakfast this morning is peanut butter and jelly. I have a Trader Joe's gluten-free English muffin for five points, one serving of PB2 Crunchy for one, and a serving of um, Chia Smash. I'll be honest, I'm not a huge fan of the Chia Smash. It's just not as thick as I would like. It's it's okay. I mean, 
I wouldn't buy it again. But it's great it comes as it came in a little pack. You can just try one. That is one point as well. I like making my own jam, actually. It's not that hard. So for seven points, that is my breakfast this morning. Before we head out, I'm going to take my collagen. This is from the brand Obvi. It is the Entenmann's line. It is the rich frosted chocolate donut. I do believe it is a point. I will double check for that. But I'm going to take this and I'm going to get on my way. I wanted to mention a lot of people put this in their coffee. Doesn't thicken it up, but it's it makes it like chocolate coffee. So I'm filling my water up for the day, and I've been very good at 30 ounces. I've been doing really, really well. I'm so proud of myself. But it's a tip of the day. Um, I get these at my regular grocery store. They're from Bigelow. They're botanicals. They're water-infusing herbal teas. There's no caffeine in them. But this one is the peach lemonade acai. And you put it in cold water. So I throw it in my 30 ounce. I do cut the string though because you don't need that. I just drop it in, it's filled up, and then all day it will infuse a nice little flavor. Now, I'm sure any herbal tea bag will work, but these are pretty inexpensive at the store. I think they were like $3 for I think 20 bags. Like I said, they are. Bigelow Botanicals, they have different ones. The watermelon one I like, the strawberry, yes, the peach lemonade I like. There's a few I don't like. If you need to know what ones I don't like, let me know. <laughs> I will let you know. But I'm gonna head on out, go on a couple of errands. Yeah, we'll talk. I'll do a rambling for the, the group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, you don't get to see the rambling. But I guess some people don't do Facebook. Totally get that. Facebook is a pain. It is. It's very intrusive, I think, sometimes. It just is. And it's intrusive on, on what people expect. It's intrusive on what people post. I call it brag book. Fake book. Because, yeah. That's just brag! Oh my gosh! <laughs> Alright, I'm going to get in the car, do my rambling, and I may do a little vlogging in there for, the, for this, because I don't want to, you know, I don't have not too much to do today. It's like, you know, cool chill day which there's nothing wrong with a chill day well a lovely vlog i just rambled so i have to keep where i'm at where i'm at i was just came out of the dollar tree be proud they didn't really have anything but i somebody mentioned this that i i really like these splenda creamers uh sweet cream and french vanilla they're one tablespoon is zero points Two tablespoons, I think up to three is one point. Honestly, to top something for, you know, or put it in a coffee, I thought it was just, I had won the Splenda Sweet Cream on an Instagram contest. So I do have a love for Splenda. Have my water. I took it with me. The eggs in this is a little discount store were ridiculous. I wasn't paying like four dollars a dozen for eggs yeah so peter's going out anyway so i will have him get them or i could just run to aldi or tomorrow i'll be at, i'll be at shop right so i'm sure they're the same price there so we need to go to the bank as we need to go to the bank to get cash out for the dog. Not that I couldn't debit it tomorrow at Acme because or ShopRite, I probably could. But I'm gonna head this way. And this is the back way to go. Back way. This is the back way. We're gonna go home the back way. Um I did mention in the rambling, because you might not see it, because you might not have Facebook, but I will. I th said that we'd have a little discussion here about the importance of mental health. Um, and I get, that went to, you know, a little detail about my reasonings, like where mine, I believe, stems from. Mine just stems from the fact that I want to help everyone. I want to, you know, I want to be the person for them that I didn't have. And it's just a bit overwhelming. I'm not gonna lie. It's I've I've taken on everybody's problems and securities, hang-ups, you know. And I really should release them back. <laughs> we have to um, 
you know, I can't solve everyone's problems. I can't fix everyone. And here's the bottom line. It's even hard to fix someone when they don't want to be fixed. If I can sit there and tell you the amount of conversations I have with people who are in denial of their own shortcomings, who, you know, I'm all, you know, there's, you know, blame to be laid for certain things, but sometimes when we don't want to put the work out for something, but we don't know that, we think we are working and we're truly not. And that is a big problem. The work. Weight loss is not easy. And weight loss takes some serious deprivation. It does. I wish you could sit there and say you could eat everything you want on your weight loss journey. You could have everything. Nothing's going to change when in fact everything changes. Everything changes and it has to. It has to because what you did prior didn't work. So you have to change pretty much everything. And I think I'm going to go straight. Sure, just, I'm thinking where I'm at in the scheme of things of where I need to go. I think I might just, this is where the Duncan is. I go to this Duncan. I can't, oh, I think it's the post office. That's right. Crap. Yeah, so I'm, I'm not going to go there. I have to go this way. Oh, great. I have to go a different way. All right. See how I just, on my mind. So I'm expecting a package from a brand to do on the channel. So I have to keep a lookout for that. So I have to end this here and just wanted to step in and, and like I said, um, if you want me to talk more about stress, I can. But I'm not an expert, that's for sure. I can only tell you my experiences and the stuff that I do wrong and the stuff that I'm trying to do right. And taking time for myself is one of those things. You need to take time for yourself and your journey. You need to take time to be kind to yourself. Maybe we'll talk about that. Maybe I'll come back and talk about that. All right, we're going to pickle cauliflower. I've been meaning to do this for weeks. I've had this cauliflower in my refrigerator since I went to that sale right before it snowed. If you remember right, the vlog went along. And it's actually still, still beautiful shape. Let me, I just washed it off. So we're going to cut this in florets, equal like in size. Try not to have any big ones. Try to keep them all the same size. We'll see how that works out. But let's get our pickle brine going. We have to heat it up. I was wondering whether I was going to put sweetener in this one. I'm going to say no, or maybe a little bit. We'll see. I'm on, I'm on the fence. Because my carrot one has uh, monk fruit in it. You can use sugar, you can use splenic, you can use whatever the heck you want. But in here I have one and a half cups of water. To that, I'm going to add one and a half cups of white vinegar. How much do I have left? One. I might just make it. I need a little bit more. This is why I went to the store today because I was out of the vinegar. one of my favorite things to have around the house is white distilled vinegar. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like that's one of the things I use a lot. I think this is a huge one and it doesn't have a funky handle on it. Let's have to tip it over a little bit. Put the top of them. Alright. I'm just going to heat this. It doesn't need to be boiling, but it does need to have the salt um, as we're looking for. Salt dissolved. So, all right, go with that. I'll ditch that. I need my little teaspoon. All right, two teaspoons of salt. I get my salt from Thrive Market. It is a Redmond's Ancient Fine Sea Salt, unrefined, amazing taste. So I'll use that. We have that. We're going to put some pickling. I just got it at the Amish bulk store. I think I'll use a tablespoon. Of, I like a lot of pickle. Just a personal choice. All 
A little pickling spice. That's just a pickling spice from the Amish. Because, you know, red pepper flakes. I just think a little spice. Just a little, little quarter teaspoon. Again, you could adjust these, to, you know, to your taste and your liking. I'll put this over here. We'll put it on the stove. I'm just going to heat it till this salt dissolves. I'm also going to chop up some garlic. A few of you have asked how my garlic is doing. Um, so far, so good. I mean, look, this sucker story should lose him. He's starting to grow. Yeah, we don't want our garlic to grow. So I'm just going to put a couple of cloves. I'm going to chop it. I'm just going to put them in. Maybe I'll split them. Put them in there. But, you know, this would be, once the garlic pickles, you know, I'm going to eat it. <laughs> So I'll sort of cut them in half like that. As much, you know, it's kind of a very forgiving recipe. You could kind of, like I say, tailor it. You don't like garlic, then don't use it. But you know I do. So we're just going to bring this mixture just to a simmer, just to get, like I said, the salt um, dissolved, really. And we're going to cube our cauliflower but i'm not blanching it or anything i'm just going to um just going to chop it so it's going to be a fresh pickle it's not like i'm not steaming it or anything the pickling hopefully will penetrate and soften that's my that's my hope i didn't do that to the um to the carrots and they were fine so i'm gonna hope that's gonna happen to the cauliflower Okay, Get a ball of this. Okay, back in there. Should clean the board, but we're not. Let me grab, let me show you this. put dill in here you could I also clean one of my big um, glass jars it's probably too big but the other one was too small so I didn't want to do two so we're just going to live with that so like I said you peel all that stuff off your cauliflower you clean it I'm just going to cut the florets 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 you know little fun things like I said we're trying to keep them the same size let's just get around here And I love, like I said, you know, find a way to, in, like, you might like pickled vegetables versus fresh or roasted. You know, there's nothing in here that was detrimental. It would, shall we, shall we pickle that? Maybe we will. You know, there's nothing wrong with um, anything in there that, that we have. It's, oh my gosh, I'm on Weight Watchers. I can't have pickled vegetables. It's vinegar, water, some spices. I think you'll be fine. Trying to get them all the same size. You don't want this, because yeah, you don't want that. That is Mr. Trash Can. What a fun way to eat vegetables pickled. So we're gonna grab our jar and pop them in. I love this is like such an easy method if you've not made my pickled carrots I think you need to they are amazing they rile the oh snap version yeah we're gonna put that little I'm gonna I'm gonna chop up this little stump here because you know I don't know I'd eat it maybe So our cauliflower is ready to go. We're just waiting for this to dissolve. Like I said, do I want to put sugar in here? I don't think so. 
I think the vinegar will be, this vinegar honestly has a sweet note to it. I don't think it's going to need it. But we're just, like I said, we're just heating it till the salt dissolves and it gets the spices infused in here. The garlic and the pickling spice. Like I said, you could eat those garlic cloves. Let's we'll just go for another minute or two and I'll be right back. All right, our mish, our mishers, our, our brine is just boiling. So we're going to take it off the heat, give it another stir. I'm going to pour it over our cauliflower. I'm telling you, this is easy. I don't know why I don't do it more. I say it to myself every time I do it. Denise, you should do this more often. Do a fast pour so you don't spill it, Denise. But you still did spill some. Oh, see, now everybody's perfect. Next time, use a funnel. Okay. Okay. We're gonna let this sit out until it cools completely before we put it in the fridge. But what I will do is give it a little shimmy, shimmy, shimmy and get it all covered in that pickle juice. Pickling, you know, see, I don't, I'm kind of aggravated that I spilled it, but you know, again, it ain't the Food Network here on Dish with D. And I, I probably should remember the sink and I probably should have grabbed the funnel. Coulda, woulda. And sure, but it's fine. We'll let this sit out, let it cool completely, then we will put it in the fridge. And this will be done in a couple of days because I'm all about pickled vegetables. I'm telling you, you don't like vegetables? Pickle them. I've pickled string beans, I've pickled carrots. If I've done Brussels sprouts, Brussels sprouts would be good though. I gotta find my lid so I can just shake it upside down. My lid, I know I cleaned you. I know I cleaned your lid. Here it is. You don't really, I really shouldn't put this on yet, but I want to give it one of these. One of these. I should leave it upside down for a while. Then we'll flip it over. But yeah, pickle cauliflower. Check off the list. And actually, I was shocked it was still in good shape. It's been sitting in there for at least three weeks. Could be more, but cauliflower is one of those vegetables that definitely holds up well. Yep, the pickling will tenderize the vegetable, shockingly enough. But yeah. I'm going to add a little bit more of that. But it's being absorbed into the cauliflower. You see how it went down? It's because it's like absorbing into the cauliflower. So there you go. And if you're a person that would can, I don't, I don't know anything about canning, but see, for me, it would be like, I, I make it when I want it and then I eat it. <laughs> and if I want to make it again, I can do that. We're going to, we're going to see why Bailey's barking. We'll come back and make some lunch. Because I had a lot of cauliflower, more than I probably should have, I did do another cup of brine. Cup of water, a cup of vinegar. So actually two cups of brine. <laughs> um, but I will uh, reflect how much cauliflower to use in the recipe that I put on the website. If I only done two cups, it would have been fine. To do, to do a whole head, it'd be two and a half cups, two and a half cups. So five cups total. I think that's much better. Because I don't want them not to be pickled. You know, I want them all to be pickled. So I'm going to leave this with the lid off. And let the pickling commence. And I will, will I taste this before the end of the video? Maybe. We'll see. So I mentioned I did a fast cleanup with this. I don't know if anybody's ever tried this. You should let me know. The Rosy brand. Um, I got the all-purpose cleaner, balsam and white cedar from Thrive. I've been enjoying it. Um... I'd use a lot for countertops in the kitchen and stuff. I know it's kind of Christmas, but you know. So I would share that my Thrive Market. I don't know. I need to put an order in for there. I've been meaning to, and I just don't do it. But all right, we're going to take the dog out first. I think then we'll get to lunch. He's been. He's been. We haven't seen the dog, have we? He's been doing really, really well with his antacids. Uh, yeah, so I'm really happy to say that 
<clears throat> it helped. So I am so grateful that, you know, he has some relief, a poor little sucker. So we're just mixing our cauliflower. It smells really good. It really does. I'm excited. I'm excited for cauliflower. <sighs> We could, we could, I'm telling you, pickle a vegetable. I mean, you love, you know, I love my jardinier. I love my jardinier. Um, I haven't had any. I gotta go get me another jar of jardinier. I just finished it. Those pickled mushrooms. And yeah, you don't have to cook the vegetables, which is great, which is one less step you have to do. But yeah, see, I decided I would pivot because I just had a little bit more cauliflower than I realized. I had about four cups probably. And I'm sure once it sits in the brine, it will shrink. We'll have a lot of brine. And here's a tip that I don't know if you should do it or not, but this is what I do. I reuse my brine. Like if I want to have another, I mean, in, within reason, like if, if it's like next week and I still have some cauliflower in there and I have more cauliflower, I'll just throw some in. I'll heat it up again. I'll take the cauliflower out, I'll heat it up, and then I'll just redo it. Tell me if that's wrong. I haven't gotten sick. <laughs> but yeah, waste not, what not. There's some... Let's throw some pepper in there. But all right, let's get let's get Mr. Bailey out and uh, make some girl lunch. What do I feel? Oh, I got no girl lunch. Shit. We're gonna do this tonight. We're gonna do this right now before we take the dog out. If you saw my healthy grocery haul on Instagram, I got another one of these. I love these Butterball turkey breast tenderloins. This is a turkey breast cut into tenderloin. And I'm going to roast it 400 degrees for probably like 15, 18 minutes. Flip it for another. And I'll make my thermometer make sure it's done. We're going to throw this in the oven. I'm going to use my toaster oven. I don't see why not. So this way we will have... Because I'm out of everything else. So yeah, we're going to... Um, let me sh and all I do is... Foil line tray, throw my turkey breast on there, season with whatever seasoning you want, garlic, salt, pepper, roast it, like I said, 400, 375, 400, depending on what you like to cook with, and just keep your eye on it, 18, 20 minutes, flip it, another 18, 20 minutes, and take the temperature, it has to be over 160, I do believe, for it to not kill you, so... This is a zero point option. I love, love, love having this. It costs about $10 at your local store. My Amish market has fresh ones, but this is a fresh one, but they have it like, they're ridiculously expensive. I got one probably this size. It was like 20, 25 bucks. It was delicious, but it was. So we're gonna get this in the oven and then take the dog out. So by the time we come back, we'll flip it and then we'll be able to have some girl lunch. I totally forgot to do this. Favorite tip. This will be on my video. I'm going to show you the two breasts, what nice sizes they are. And one I'm going to use this sunshine. It is all purpose garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. It is salt free. I got this at Sam's Club. I'm just going to throw that on one. Just put a little something different, you know. And on the other one, I'm going to do a little bit of the Kinder's Thai barbecue with basil, lime, and coconut. Why not, you know? I think you only live once. Okay, when we flip it, we will re-season the other side. Hopefully I'll remember which, oh, I should be able to remember which side's which. One is orange, one is yellow, and one is white. Put extra on there. Okay. There's your turkey breast. Check off. I'm glad because it's trash night. I want to get that wrapper in the trash. Here's your reminder. Whatever you're doing, take a drink. I should do that intermittently through the video. Like, all right, water break. Mm -hmm. Keep it next to you. If it's around, if it's in the kitchen. You're in the family room. You're not going to drink it. Keep it with you. That's why it says this is my emergency support water bottle. Emotional support is always with me. I got this on somebody from Instagram. She's a Weight Watchers coach. She was giving them away. Isn't that cute? That was sweet. All right, we're going to take the dog out. Oh, Bailey.
Bow, bow. We'll go for walkies. Sometimes he comes in. Yes, he ain't coming in. I'll, oh, there he comes. There's the laundry basket that I cleared out. Bailey. There he is. You see him right there? I see him. He's peered over the basket. You want to go Popeyes? Want to go walkies? Come on. <laughs> we'll see you outside. <laughs> Bailey got scared for the gate to shut. There he is. It's beautiful out today. Look at those skies. Ooh, Patrick's car. <laughs> All right, we're gonna take a walk. This is one of his favorite walks of the day. It's the afternoon walk, nighttime walk he hates. That was in mor the morning he's too nervous because he has to go. But this is his favorite walk. So we're gonna go for a walk. See, hops. You can see. If I, if I slow him up, he doesn't. But if we go fast, he hops on that right leg. That was his worst injury. That's when he had to have physical therapy on. <sighs> yes, my dog had physical therapy. Don't ask. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Yeah, he goes to the, tomorrow to the groomers. Thank goodness, because he's a hot mess. I'm going to see that. All right, we're going to go start our walk. Come on, Michael. Oh, it's so beautiful out. Look at that. Whew. Hurts your eyes. It's so bright. I should have worn my sunglasses. You can see the oh, walk fast. Watch the alley hops when I walk faster. That's just. But if you walk real slow, walk's good. But if you walk fast, he hops. But hey, I'll take hopping over not using it any day. All right, we're going to get our walk done and we will see you in the house. All right, just took her out of the oven. Let me shut that timer off. And you get your little thermometer. You go all the way to the center and she goes to 160, you're golden. Well, we're golden here. I let it come down a bit and then we go right in this one. Yep, there we go. Well, now I'm not gonna kill anybody. Let these cool and then I'll just put them in containers and slice and eat. A zero point protein that can't be beat. Right, getting a little girl luncheon. I'm having that turkey that I roasted about four ounces. My veggie side with peppers, cucumbers, radish, carrot chips, zero points, a three point cheese stick, a zero point heart of palm, and two points of the simple avocado ranch. I think it is. It's two points. And my cheese stick is three. So the whole entire lunch is five points. That's how we do it. Get your veg in. My cute little uva plate. You know, I have a link down below for 10% off if you're interested. Wanted to share some happy mail. I just ordered um, this little purse charm, it could be, or it could be a key charm. Um, I don't know if, you, if you, if you remember back in the day, I used to do a lot of collabs with someone named Robbie Frecky Fitwolf. Um, he still uh, is trying to lose weight, but he just doesn't. Uh, upload videos anymore. Do y'all remember Robbie? He makes jewelry now. He makes earrings, bracelets, necklaces, and charms. And he has a page. I will link his uh, Facebook. I think it's called Robbie's Artistic Gems or something like that. I don't remember. But I will link it down below. And he posted this. And if you know me and dogs, I had to have it. And I didn't know that I was his first paying customer. So I got this for my purse. So if you like little baubles and things like this, I mean, support a local friend, you know, especially if you're a friend of Robbie's. I'm going to put this on my purse. Let's see. Put it right here. I mean, is this everything or is this everything? So thank you, Robbie. I was thrilled to be your first customer. And uh, I'll probably be a returning customer, no doubt. Oops, I wasn't going to have it on. There we go. It's hanging off there. So there you go. I will link him down in the description box below if you want to go check out. Like I said, it's all kind of like stones and fun stuff like that. You know me. You know me. I sh I'm, the only thing I'm disappointed in is I should have ordered more. Yeah. Note to self. Thanks, Robbie. 
All right, we do have a sponsor for this video. Now, when I get the chance to work with Luxier, I take it. Now, if you don't remember, I did two other collabs with them. One was those containers, those little lock containers for like the fruit and produce and like vegetables where it has that little rack in there. They have those nice handles. And also I did the covered bowls with them. I, their products are really nice. So when they come to me and say, hey, D, we like to sell. We like to send you something. I'm like, yeah, okay. Now there, this month they sent me, this is the clear shower caddy with suction cups. Comes with your directions. Also comes with this little card that helps you remove the suction cups. And here they are. You get two, put them in the back. And you also have this little holder, this would we'll go right in this little groove here. This is like, you could hang washcloths, you could hang, like Peter has what we call a sud sack, a little sack he puts his little little uh, Squatch soaps in Dr. Squatch. They could hang right from here. This you would put in here, you could hang razors, like straight razors from there. So if your husband shaves or you shave, you could just click this in here like this. And you can hang your razor from it. So if you ask me, there's never enough storage in the shower. Like I said, we have built-ins in our, sh or no, we have what you call a unit where it's just, it's not tile. It's like a tub surround and there's built-in shelves, but you know, there's four of us here full time. Yeah. We all have our favorite soap, our favorite wash, our favorite this, our favorite that. So yeah, sometimes, you know, me with my three different shampoos, there's never enough room. So, I, and plus we don't have any for the sud sack. So I have one and Peter has one. So that this would be fun to hang maybe above the shelf. We could hang our sud sacks on it. And like I said, it is removable. You just have to take these little covers off of the suction. And you place them on. And like I said, this helps you. You should write on the card how to peel it. So we're going to go put them in our shelf. But let's talk a little bit about Luxier first non-drilling who doesn't like we could put these up without anybody's help non-drilling removable shower shelf mac holds up to 22 pounds suction bathroom caddy one second installation waterproof suction shower organization for bathroom or kitchen also it could be for kitchen if you have like maybe a tile back there you could put your sponges your dishcloth your soap that might not be a bad idea if i have any room in mine but this would probably be really good in the kitchen Hang your dish towels or stuff. I'm telling you, there's it's got a lot of good uses. I always think organization is something I need more of. So let's see. It's, I like this one says about the item. If you receive the suction cups that have weak suction, feel free to contact us and we will resend you a free replacement. I like that. No tools needed for installation. I like that. Powerful and removable suction cower caddy on clear suction. Our clear suction cup caddy can max hold 22 pounds from into the wall for over a thousand days after installation without any drop. Hmm. I like to see that one. It says designed with fence hooks and portable shaving hook. The fence hook design makes it convenient to hang small items in the shower room, such as towels, brushes, bath balls. Head, head ropes, necklaces, bracelets. You take your jewelry off and you forgot you could hang it there. That's always a thing. It's definitely, um, there's, it's drainable. So see it underneath, you got little holes. So whatever you put in there wet, it'll drain right through. That's always nice. It's best used for non-porous, impervious, smooth surfaces such as, wall, such as wall tiles. Do not stick on an uneven painted wall, but we're not going to do that. We're going to put it on our in, sub tub surround shower. So there is a 10% off coupon that Luxier has gifted to me for you. I'm pretty sure. Yep, I will have that listed right here and also in the description box below. And if you want to go on Amazon and purchase this, never a hard sell here on this channel. If that's something that you need, you can keep on going. But if you're looking for something extra storage for your kitchen or shower and in use, you like me, you like the Luxier brand, then I say take a look at it. You just never know. So thank you again to Lux here for sending me this and sponsoring this video. We're going to go put our little shelf in and see how it looks. Come with. All right. 
I clipped them onto the back and I pulled the little protective cases off. I wiped this clean with, I'll just use a Clorox wipe. And we're just gonna, well, I think right here would be good. I'm just gonna take it and we're gonna press firmly. Maybe it's not flush enough. I have to make sure that it's flush. Because that was. There, I had to move it over a little bit. Press with all your might. Ugh. Okay, applying pressure. Good. Like I said, you can hang these right from here. Put my big old shampoo up here. And this is the one that y'all asked me about. It makes my hair purple. And of course, my Bath and Body Works. This is gonna be my shelf. And this is my little soap. This needs to be cleaned. But there we go. I think it works out. It helps, like I said. For I like this is what sold me on it because we need things for like what we washcloths, jewelry, soap sacks. So you just have to watch. It has to be flush. Yeah, I was over too far where it curves. So we have a little. You gotta watch. So you gotta watch the the type that, that you're putting it on. They're definitely on the website. It'll tell you what surfaces are good and what surfaces are not good and where to put it. I would really like one of these for the kitchen if I had space for it, because I don't. But I would love to put, like, hang dishcloths, put sponge in here, dish soap, and stuff like that. So thank you again, Alexia, for improving my organization. Organization. It always seems on vlog day that I don't cook. It just works out that way. This is Trader Joe's. Chicken teriyaki, a cup is five points, some green beans for zero, and I do have some white rice. So I'm probably going to have three quarters of a cup for five points. It's going to be a ten point dinner for me tonight. I know, like seriously, I just don't cook on Wednesdays. It's, just, it's a bit funny. I'm waiting for somebody to sit there and say, geez, D, you don't really cook. It seems that way, but... We did pickle today. We did roast some turkey, so I do feel somewhat accomplished. Dinner tonight is three-quarter cup of rice for five points with a cup of the Trader Joe's chicken teriyaki. So my dinner is 10 points. I have string beans for zero, and I just have a little side salad with just um, red wine vinegar for zero points as well. So that is my 10-point dinner tonight. All right, before we end this video, I'm going to taste the pickled cauliflower. And see, if cauliflower pickles. Well, we know it pickles, but is it any good? It smells good. Remember, this is still zero points. There we go. You remember, I didn't cook it, but I'm sure it got tender with the vinegar. I might never buy Jardinier again. This is awesome. Mm. Slightly tender, but still crunchy. Perfection. She pickles and she did it. Mm. Mm. Now since it's pickled, I'm sure it'll last a while, but it's not gonna last a while because I'm gonna eat it. So that is it for me. I hope you enjoyed spending the day with me. A few things we did today. We made pickled cauliflower. How awesome is that? So, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, let me know with a big old thumbs up. If you're new here, welcome. If you haven't yet that subscribe button, join us here to Shwiti, where we are living the life the life of a 50 plus year old lady trying to lose 10 pounds. And if that is something that you find interesting, then join us here. And if you know anybody that's 
might get some benefit from this content. Share this video and let's grow our community here on the tube and on Facebook. Don't forget to have a fantastic Facebook group, Dish with D's crew. Dish with D 24 seven. So that's it for me. I will dish with you another day. Thanks for watching.